welcome to Full Security Channel. Today we are discussing something on harvesting and handling of tomatoes in developing countries. In our previous video, we discussed something on fruit, the behavior of fruits and vegetables after harvest. So today we are going to discuss something on when to harvest, what to do after harvest, and then the storage temperatures. My name is Daniel Etubwachi. In developing countries, Tomato fruits are mostly harvested at a mature stage. That is when they are fully ripe. And at this stage, they mostly go bad or they rot maximum of about two to three weeks after harvest. Let us now focus on practices that will minimize post harvest losses of tomatoes. That is one, we have to harvest at a mature green stage. This is a practice that is mostly done in developed countries with less post harvest loss that is they know the time between the flowering and then maturity of the fruit but depending on the cultivar it can be between six to nine nine weeks or eight weeks and then they have it early in the morning up to the noon time there is a picture of a grower or a farmer who is harvesting his fruit or their fruit at a mature green stage the first thing to do after harvesting is to pre cool the fruit. Pre cooling of the fruit is the removal of field heat using well water, ice water, or ice. This is done with the intention of reducing the temperature of the fruit. So, when you reduce the temperature of the fruit, it means you are reducing the respiration in the fruit. In our previous video, we discussed that some fruit respire. And the more they respire, the more they lose their value. And so there is high possibility of rotten and they are all contributing to high post harvest losses of tomatoes, um, most fruit and vegetables. And so when you use ice water or well water to clean the fruit or to pre-cool the fruit, it means you are also removing the dirt on the fruit. And this is done to also reduce the incidence of diseases. These are examples of pre-cooling systems that are used in developed countries to reduce the inherent heat in the fruit and also reduce, remove some dead that can promote disease after harvest. In developing countries, they mostly don't pre-cool the fruit before packaging, but they can be an improvised system where they can use a watering can or the water holes that are available to them to pre-cool the fruit using the same well water they use to water their plants. So when you harvest the fruit at mature green stage and you subject it to different temperatures, you will see that temperature has influence on the ripening of the fruit with no introduction of ethylene gas. So this research was done in the US and this research group they subjected the fruit to different temperatures and you could see that those that are less than 10 degrees Celsius were less advanced in ripening, whilst those that were above 10 degrees Celsius were far advanced in ripening, which means that maybe those that are above 10 degrees Celsius can be kept for about four weeks, whilst those that are 10 and below can be for about six weeks. So when you harvest it at um, mature green stage, there is possibility that you can control the storage temperature and keep it for longer period as compared to harvesting it at a mature ripe stage in developing countries. In conclusion, harvest at the mature green stage, pre-cool the fruit, store it at favorable temperature, especially below 10 degrees Celsius. Thanks for watching. Kindly share this video with anyone whom it may be profitable to in reducing post harvest loss of tomatoes and reducing farming in the world. Kindly share and then subscribe if you haven't. Kindly comment and let's hear from you.